What's up? My name is Nathan Larson, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing real drums versus MIDI drums on a production I did a while back. I had a real drummer record the drum part, and it sounds really good, but I've done a lot of productions where I've not had access to a real drummer, so I've had to go and use MIDI drums instead. And the thing is that if you know how to program MIDI drums well and have some pretty decent samples to work with, you can actually make MIDI drums sound pretty darn good and pretty darn realistic. So I'm going to take this production I did and basically recreate the drum part using my MIDI controller and try to get the MIDI drums to sound as good as possible to see if I could pass the MIDI drums as a real drummer and show you that if you don't have access to a real drummer, you can still make really good sounding MIDI drums. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take a listen to this project. You can see I've got my drums right here highlighted. I've got a lot of other stuff. The top section here, these are all vocals. And we're gonna go ahead and just take a listen. I'm gonna mute out the vocals. I'm not too interested in the vocals right now. We're gonna just gonna listen to the instrumental part of this and see how this sounds, see what we're gonna work with. listen to just that much for now uh, but obviously really high energy the drums sound really good um, just so you are aware what we're looking at here on the drums I do have you can see I've kind of notated these uh, in a way that's maybe hard to understand KSMP that's a sample um, snare SNR SMP right there is a snare sample rack sample floor sample and so really what that means is I actually dropped extra samples on top of the recorded drums to add a little bit more beef to it. So I'm going to go ahead and just solo this whole thing out. Let's remove the samples so you can hear what this sounds like without samples and then I'll show you what this sounds like once we throw that in. Okay, so it sounds pretty darn good. And then this is what it sounds like once we actually drop in those samples. Gives it just a lot more uh, depth to it. So the first thing we're gonna do to go ahead and create the MIDI section is we need to actually open up a MIDI instrument. So we're gonna go ahead and open up a software instrument here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull up some MIDI drums. I like Studio Drummer. This is a native instrument. So we're gonna go ahead and go with <clears throat> the Garage Kit. That sounds pretty, pretty good. Um, so I really like, I really like how these ones sound. Yeah, so you can hear that that drum sounds quite good. Native Instruments makes very good drum samples. I really like their Sessions drummer. Works super great. Okay, so I just kind of kind of listen to the drum part to see how I'm going to do this. I really like how that sounds. Sounds actually really good just out of the box. So we're gonna just gonna start right on that big intro. We're just gonna do this section and then we'll kind of move around and see how the rest of this sounds. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so Sounds a little sketchy, uh, just because I'm trying to kind of play with the drums here. So the first thing I need to do is just go ahead and edit this, just quantize some things. It's kind of like a ghost note, it looks like. So 
So I'm basically just writing in MIDI here. I think that's right. Okay, so we're just gonna do that much. Basically, just the whole intro. So let's just take a listen to what we've got. This is basically just looking at this right after I've programmed it in and just basically gone into the piano roll and just made sure that this is all the same. Let's just listen to the samples by themselves. Let's actually unmute. We're gonna unmute this whole thing and then just mute the entire, mute all the drums. So that's already sounding uh, really good. And uh, so first thing I would say is that I've, I've gotten pretty darn good at playing drums in uh, on the keyboard. Um, and then what I did is basically just made it so it was exactly the same. So now the way we're gonna make the sound even more realistic is by basically tweaking each individual note velocity wise to make this just sound a lot more authentic. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of open up my list here. No. So what I'm doing is basically changing like how loud that sample is actually played. So a real drummer wouldn't play this 16th note at like full volume. They kind of almost do it a little softer to kind of It's like there, that sounds a little bit like a machine gun with the toms. So let's just do that much. Let's compare so far what we have. So here is the live drums. Here are the live drums. Cool. Now here are the MIDI drums. I would say that already sounds pretty dang good. So one thing I would do right off the bat to make the MIDI drum sound even better would be to add Transient Master, which is a plugin from Native Instruments. And what this does is can add sustain, attack, gain. It's kind of kind of like a compressor, um, but it's a little more focused on what it can actually do. So I'm going to show you how this sounds. So this is with nothing on. So to give you an idea of the sustain, you can dial it back or you can boost it up. So if I dial it back, it's going to be very obvious. Let's turn it to negative 100. Obviously, you don't want that. I like the opposite. I like to kind of expand it, kind of make it sound a little more beefy. So we're going to add a little bit of sustain, but we don't want it to be crazy. So 
that sounds pretty good. The next thing we would do uh, to start really beefing this up even, even more, making this sound even better, would be to actually start dropping samples. So I'm gonna use Native Instruments again. I'm gonna go to Battery 4 and create another MIDI track here. Now, what we can do with Battery 4, this is a drum sample library, basically. And I can actually go in here, you can look for entire kits, or you can actually go to Samples and search for your sample. So let's start with, we'll start with a kick. So obviously none of those are what we want. Um, I already know some stuff that, some of these sounds that I like, I already kind of have some go-tos. I think I like 20, so I can actually click and drag this. And I can now play that with my MIDI keyboard. So there's that, let's do snare. We can just start literally going through and finding a whole bunch of, that's not what I want. I want something that has a little more like snap, kind of a pop to it. Hmm, I like that. Sounds totally different than the kit that we had. We can actually boost that level. We can start adding some stuff into this now. And I can actually um, change the tune. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Okay, and then we would wanna finally add some toms. There we go. And from here, all we have to do is literally just copy over the MIDI drums that we currently have. And it comes down to just mixing this in to make it sound decent. So yeah, there's that. Great, so let's just listen to this. Boom. So let's compare and contrast the MIDI from the live again. So here's live. the MIDI. Boom. So it turns out that you can actually make MIDI drums that sound really good. So there you have it. Real drummer versus MIDI drums. Who do you think won? If you like this video, Love it if you'd subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot them my way. Take care.